Now, a man suspected of dealing in ivory has been arraigned in a Mombasa court before Magistrate Francis Kiamba. Gitonga Mbare is suspected to be behind the export of ivory to Cambodia. He was arrested along the Malaba border with ivory, weighing about 1,000 kilograms, which is estimated to be worth 109 million shillings. According to expert witnesses, the ivory originated from the neighboring country of Tanzania. Now, to Uganda, the Speaker of the Ugandan Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, has tasked three members of Parliament to check on the condition of their colleague arrested on Monday in Arua. Now, the MPs are expected to give a report on the condition of the six MPs, including Robert Kialungai, popularly known as Bobby White, and Francis Zake, who are said to be in poor health following their violent arrest in Arua. NTV's Uganda, Maurice Ochoa, was in Parliament for this report. <laughs> Today's plenary started with the lead of opposition, Betia Aul Ochan, asking why there were no ministers in the House, despite important matters to discuss. Betia Olochan insisted that the state had a lot to answer, especially relating to the health of some of the lawmakers who were arrested on Monday. Do we need some kind of resolutions in this parliament so that members of parliament actually move when they are secure? Other lawmakers across the divide condemned the way their colleagues were arrested and detained. Not even a member of parliament, any citizen of Uganda cannot be detained in a place which is not gazetted by government. We just want to know just what is happening to our colleagues and exactly where they are, just on humanitarian grounds. Mm. What he has seated here, today it is me, today it is them, tomorrow is going to be somebody else. Others were particularly disturbed by pictures of Mitiana municipality MP Francis Zake, which showed him to be in poor health. The blood is losing from his hands, the eyes are swollen, the ears are totally chattered. Right on speaker, I do not know if Honorable Zake tortured himself. If they happen to be true, then I am even worried of his life. Speaking for government, First Deputy Prime Minister Moses Ali said he was unaware where the lawmakers were being held, prompting the Speaker to adjourn the House for an hour. But again, I will have to find out before Later, the Deputy Prime Minister Moses Ali revealed that Robert Chagulani was in poor health at Gulu Military Hospital and would face the military court martial as he had been found with a gun. was thrown to Gulu Military Hospital for medical care. But he's now okay. He was moving by his own, and the minister comes here to tell us that they have not tortured any of our colleagues. What a lie, Honorable Prime Minister. Chaplain was found with a gun, and he will appear before General Court Marshal in Guru tomorrow. <laughs> AK 47, is it a small pistol? What type of gun was found here? Moses Ali then updated the House on the state of the other MPs who are due to be tried in court tomorrow. The other four will appear in the Chief Magistrate Court tomorrow in Guru. Now, despite the fact that government coming up with a full statement on the state of affairs for the MPs that were arrested, some of the lawmakers in parliament are not satisfied with the first deputy prime minister moses ali the argument is that one of their colleagues francis zaka of mutiana municipality his fate was not given to the mps the accountability we've got madam speaker officially does not include honorable zaki according to this report one of our colleagues honorable zaki his name is missing on this list. Thereafter, the Speaker selected six members of Parliament to follow up the matter and to head to Gulu. The House resumes next week on Tuesday when the six MPs will update the House, the fate of the colleagues. Maurice Chow in TV at Parliament. <laughs>